Hello, I'm Pat Kelly. I'm a retired nurse. I'm the editor of the journal Public Health Nursing, and I'm an activist living in Arizona. Water is the basis of all life. Each year here in the Southwest, water becomes a little more scarce, and everyone jostles just a tad more fiercely to hold on to their share of this vital resource. Two critical issues face the availability of water in Arizona. First is supply. Over the past few decades, the water sources here have been rapidly disappearing. Rivers have been drying up because of massive amounts of water retrieved from underground wells. And 70% of Arizona water is used for agriculture. And not even necessarily food crops, but cotton. Cotton, one of the thirstiest crops in existence. Each acre cultivated here demands six times as much water as lettuce and 60% more than wheat. Billions of gallons of water are imported every year to support this. This situation of diminished supply is made worse by policies of the Trump administration to, to demolish protections of the Clean Water Act. Arizona has no state safeguards to fall back upon and now more than 90% of our streams and lakes are completely unregulated and unprotected, putting them at risk of pollution and destruction from development, gas and oil production, and other industrial activity. Nearly half of all Arizonans, 48%, get their drinking water from streams that were previously covered by that safeguard, the Clean Water Act, and are now unprotected. A second major challenge is the deadly impact of uranium mining, which has left Navajo and Hopi workers and their families exposed to poisonous radiation. Uranium mining companies have abandoned over 500 mines on tribal land, and, deadly, and Native families have faced the ultimate price with cancer, birth defects, and other deadly consequences. The mines have left much of their lands unfarmable due to the radioactive waste that has leached into the soil and depleted the groundwater. Despite this history, the Trump administration wants to ignore the consequences and expand further uranium mines. We cannot take for granted that water will be available to our children and grandchildren. I urge you to contact your federal congressperson and our federal senators, Kirsten Sinema and Martha McSally, and urge them to support strong protections for Arizona's water supply. 